Hi, Hunter the Hunter Mackinnon here. Welcome to another video about Finnish Prime Ministers. Now, in my recent video about Finland's first female Prime Minister, I mentioned how during the 21st century, none of the Finnish Prime Ministers elected have served their full terms. So I decided very quickly just to go over the longest served Prime Ministers and why they ended up not serving their entire term. So let's start off with Matti Vanhanen, the man who replaced Anneli Mäki after she was forced to resign after barely three months in office. Vanhanen then carried out as Prime Minister until the end of the Center Party's term in the government and did apparently such a good job that the Finnish public saw fit to elect him for a second term. Not re-elect, remember, he wasn't elected for his first term as Prime Minister. However, with exactly one year left in his second term, Vanhanen then disappeared. And although he never gave a specific reasons for why he stepped down, there are two rather obvious factors that played into it, and one very obvious reason. Basically, there were two kind of big scandals that Vanhanen was involved in, and I guess by stepping down as Prime Minister, he was trying to minimize the damage that these scandals would have done to the center party at the time. The first scandal had to do with the funding for his campaign to, to be elected for his second term as prime minister, because apparently he had been on the board of an organization that had been giving him money for his political campaign. Now, I'm not an expert on this, but the way I understand is that that if a private organization or a business wants to give campaign money to a political candidate, that is perfectly fine, unless that candidate is also a board member in that organization or company. And it's my understanding that Van Hennen was a member of the board very briefly. Although it's my understanding he never faced any kind of repercussions for this, it was something that just kept being brought up all through his second term. The second and far more embarrassing scandal was a book published by his ex-girlfriend. Not long after becoming prime minister, Van Hennen divorced his wife and began a very intense relationship with a lady called Susan Kuronen. But their relationship didn't really work out and they broke up. After which Kuronen decided to write a tell-all book called The Prime Minister's Bride, despite the fact that they were never married. In other words, Van Hennen learned the hard way not to stick it in crazy. And because he was becoming so involved with the legal battle to get the book pulled, this was another reason why I guess he decided to step aside from his prime ministerial duties. And indeed successfully sued Kuronen for breach of privacy. He was then of course replaced by Marek Kiviniemi, who became Finland's second female prime minister. So Vanhanen's strategy did work a little bit because the center party actually did end up in the next government. But in the end NCP was the big winner and Jyrki Katainen then became the next prime minister after that. And just like Vanhanen before him, he decided to pull out this time with a little less than a year left in his term. He's probably the most boring of the cases we're going to talk about because Katainen stepped aside in order to apply for a position in the European Commission, which is something that he still got a surprisingly a lot of flack for. Even though this is perfectly allowed in Finland, it seems that people don't like it when you cherry pick political positions. Katainen would then be replaced by Alexander Stubb, a man with a smile that you can see from space. The next prime minister who technically did serve his entire term, although not exactly, was Juha Sipilä. Then Juha Sipilä had probably one of the biggest downfalls as a prime minister because he was elected specifically because he came outside of the political system. But as his policies started to get to put into effect, his popularity dipped very, very quickly. This involved a lot of unpopular employment policies, as well as his own involvement in a few environmental scandals. Also, the Finns party, who were in the government with him, had their huge schism towards the end of his term. And during the March of 2019, when there were still about three months left in his term, Sipila actually submitted his letter of resignation to President Salinista, which in all official context dissolves the government, but Sipila's government still technically stayed on as a caretaker government until the end of Sipila's term. A caretaker government, in case you didn't know, is a government that doesn't present any new legislation. It simply just takes care of whatever governmental duties need to be fulfilled. And unsurprisingly, Sipila did not fare very well in the next election. And then finally, we come to our most recent resigned prime minister, which is STP prime minister Antti Rinne, who was elected after Sipila. And even though his term was twice as long as that of Jätten Mäki, his fall was rather sudden. And an event that was at the very core of it was the Finnish Postal Service's strike that happened at the end of 2019. 
Basically, the government had backed a new employment agreement that in some extreme cases would have seen some postal workers pay drop by as much as 50%. And I don't need to tell you that if somebody told that your paycheck was getting halved, you'd be a little upset. And the postal workers union was pissed. There was a strike. And the person who was originally in the middle of this chaos was the minister who supposedly approved this legislation. And inevitably, it kind of turned out that she had been kind of woefully incompetent in her handling of the whole situation. She obviously ended up resigning from her duties. And it's at this point that Antirinne stepped into the forefront to try to wrestle the situation. However, this part pissed off their partner party in the government, the center party, who then decided to demand in this resignation. And as I mentioned in a previous video, Sanna Marin stepped in as the replacement prime minister, thus becoming Finland's third female prime minister. I hope you found this video entertaining. I'm Hanno the Hunter Mechanin. See you on the next one.